Hi friends, welcome to the another tutorial video of Figma. Today we are going to see how to create horizontal scrolling and vertical scrolling. For that I have created one frame. I just have added like one dummy test food menu. Now we are going to see how to create horizontal scrolling. For that I just uh, creating small small boxes. Okay. Actually, these boxes uh, represent um, cards with uh, images or buttons and all. For easy understanding, I am using dummy boxes here without making more complicated things. So, we just following like simple procedures as this video is particularly for the beginners. Okay. So here we I we have created like uh, four boxes as you see. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll change the color. Otherwise, uh, it will be difficult to understand. Okay. Yeah. So I change the colors and all. Now what we are going to do is just group all these boxes. As I told before, like this is this video is for beginners, so I'm just not using much shortcut keys here. You can find the shortcut keys later. After selecting all the boxes, right click, select group selection. Now this all boxes is group selected. I mean this all boxes are in one group. Just right click that group and create frame selection I mean I meant like just add that grouped boxes into a frame now we have added that boxes into a frame once again I will tell um, after creating all the boxes like uh, how much cards you want just create all the cards or boxes select all the boxes then right click group selection group it then again select that group and make into a frame frame using frame selection everything you uh, like group selection everything you can see when you right click okay and the important point here is once you created a frame you have to make sure this frame is inside the main frame if you look into the left side, you can see this frame is outside of the main frame that is iPhone 13 Pro. So you have to bring that frame inside. Why I am saying is um, many uh, of uh, my uh, students always say that th um, when they after creating lots of screens, uh, they, they have, when they play the prototype some frames of some test is missing. That is simply because of it is outside the frame main frame for that uh, if you want if you think that this frame is not visible uh, in the main frame just select that frame and just cut the frame and just click on this one main frame just paste it so it will automatically comes into the main frame so you will not miss the content when you play the prototype so we'll come to the point now i just have created uh, boxes and grouped and framed and now we want to make sure uh, this content main frame is a clip content on clip content is nothing but it makes sure that every content is stick to the main frame or it is not outside the frame if you if you look into this frame here you cannot see this uh, frame now because the clip content is on but when I switch off the clip content check like uh, just see see the uh, all the frame is visible so always make sure you just switch, switching on clip content and just bring this frame inside to the main frame for that just press ctrl 
in windows and command in mac command in mac control in windows just press command and just drag this inside okay and make sure this also clip content on i hope you all understood so far and select that frame go to prototype just follow my mouse pointer i am not much technical in after effects and all and <laughs> this to show uh, the like uh, superhero things uh, like mouse moving flying and all just follow my uh, mouse pointer because i don't know how to highlight that uh, mouse pointer with much by brighter color and all i'm just studying <laughs> just uh, move the mouse pointer to the prototype click on prototype and in prototype you can see overflow just uh, just follow my mouse pointer otherwise you will miss uh, where, where we are okay now uh, we have clicked the prototype overflow click on overflow you can see horizontal vertical both directions click on horizontal scrolling one second we'll say click on the frame that you want to create horizontal framing then select prototype overflow horizontal then now we'll play the prototype let's see see that's it so this is horizontal scrolling i hope you all understood yeah if you didn't understand you can comment below i'll be out okay don't worry we are going to see vertical scrolling at that time you will understand more for those who are not understanding uh, like you can uh, slow uh, slow the video in youtube like degrees of speed of a video so you can understand easily <coughs> now we are going to see how to do um, vertical scrolling for that i am creating boxes 1 2 3 and 4 <coughs> yeah so i have created here like four boxes i just changing the color again okay so here i have changed the color and this boxes is not grouped we need to group the boxes just uh, select all the boxes and right click group selection as i told before for horizontal scrolling same method but the difference is we are doing vertical scrolling okay now we have grouped everything and just right click again fr uh, frame selection just to bring the, that group into a frame now we have created a frame here there is one issue that happened and uh, can um, is it possible to find out uh, if uh, um, i think you can find out easily what's a mistake because we discussed uh, before like when we were creating horizontal framing i hope you all found the mistake that happened here yeah the frame that we created it is outside the main frame the problem is when we uh, when this main frame i mean when when this uh, newly created frame is not inside the main frame when you play the prototype this frame will be missing i'll show you see the uh, frame that we created is missing uh, the frame we created for vertical scrolling is missing let uh, let's add this frame inside the main frame for that just cut the frame 
and select the main frame just click paste like that is a simple command v command x for cut paste things and i i hope you all know that very well to cut and paste so just we have cut we have done cut and paste now see the prototype see the uh, frame that we created for vertical scrolling is visible now so that is a important uh, thing that you want to be careful always when you design it because many of the students always say uh, they are not able to find the frame that they created in the main frame it just because of the frame or text it is outside the main frame okay okay come to the point uh, now we are going to do the horizontal i am uh, sorry and we are going to do vertical scrolling for that uh, just click clip content as i told before always make sure clip content is on and just drag this frame inside as i told before like press command uh, in mac and uh, in windows press control in mac press uh, command and in windows press control and just drag the frame inside okay and now we have added the frame inside the main frame okay we just uh, decrease the size of the frame otherwise uh, those vertical scrolling will not work now um, after selecting this frame click on prototype overflow vertical scrolling okay just select this one prototype overflow vertical now see the prototype see we have done the vertical scrolling i hope you all understood uh, this easily uh, i know there is a lag in this video because uh, as i told before this is for the beginners also those who didn't understand they can comment below i can help you with that okay thank you guys uh, see you in other uh, tutorial video